Welcome to the first episode of our crash course, where we're going to explore some of the online best practices on how to use your real estate images to help you grow your business. The first topic we're going to tackle is how to optimize your images for search engines like Google and Bing. In our day and age, what's the first thing that people do when they search for something? They Google it, right? But let's be honest, who actually looks at the second or third page of results? Nobody. So that first page of results is prime real estate for your website, and you really want to get on that page. The problem is everyone knows this, and everyone tries their best to get on that page, ideally at the top. So how do you get there? This is where the concept of search engine optimization comes into play, also known as SEO. Let's first take a step back and briefly understand how search engines work. So each search engine has its own, let's call it, secret sauce behind how it ranks its results. But the overarching goal for every search engine is to return at the top the most relevant website for whatever the person is looking for. Now, many different factors come into play behind this secret sauce. But the one that we'll look at today is the alt text behind images. So every image on the web has text fields in the background. There's a text field for the image title, the description, the caption, the anchor text, etc., etc. Now, when Google crawlers scour the web to understand and score websites, they also try to understand what's in the images linked to these websites. To do this, these crawlers read these text fields to understand how relevant this image is. And this is where properly tagging your images comes into play. Because not only will it make your image more relevant, but in turn, it'll make your whole website more relevant and therefore have it scored higher by Google. Imagine, for example, two websites. The first real estate website uses default tags for its image text fields. For example, image title could be img6345.jpg. And the second website uses meaningful and specific tags in the text fields. For example, living room with fireplace, uh, high ceilings, and hardwood floors. When Google is going to compare both of these websites, it'll look at the first one try to understand the image and say, well, I don't know what's in here, so I'll just skip this. Look at the image on the second website and be, oh, wow, this, is, this image talks about or, this, or shows a living room with a fireplace, high ceilings, and hardwood floors. So I know what's in this image, and this is something that could be very relevant for someone looking for a living room with a fireplace. So the next time someone goes in and actually looks for a living room with a fireplace, which website do you think is going to rank on top? That's right, the second one, the one with the specific description. Now, imagine if you scale this concept and you actually tag every single one of your photos with meaningful and specific tags. Think of the weight, that, the weight and relevance that this can give to your website the next time Google tries to rank your website to your competitor's website. And that right there is the core of how images can help you boost your SEO. So I hope this video sheds some light on how a simple thing like properly tagging your images can help your site rank higher on Google. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll talk about how to use your images to improve your customer's journey. Thank you very much.